What's going on, guys? Thanks for watching Project Blackout, the show that makes sense if you don't think about it. Now, joining me today, we have a very special guest, a guest that was on the previous episode, actually, and I had to pay him five bucks to get on this episode. No, I'm messing with you. I paid him a dollar. No, I'm just messing. I'm messing with you. Yeah, okay. Rum? It's rum. Rum and apples. <laughs> rum and apples. He's back for episode number three What's of up, Project buddy? Blackout. I'm doing good. How are you? I, I'm I'm doing very, very well. I, I'm I'm happy that you didn't uh, have any footage for me to watch that was... <laughs> it was wildly irregular to say the least my man yeah for those of you don't that are watching this you didn't watch the previous episode maybe uh in the last episode we watched some gta 5 gameplay rum's favorite game of all time uh, 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 all-time favorite uh, gta 5 uh, you gotta do that to me we laughed Jeez. we cried it, we had some funny moments some some not so funny moments oh there was definitely a lot of funny moments though but um anyways though on the last episode you we posed a question to the audience stating our next-gen console's overrated. So I'm going to let you go first and let you get your thoughts out first. How about you go first? Ladies first, Rom. Ladies first. Oh, what? What do you, th what do you think, Rom, our next-generation console's overrated? What say you? Absolutely. Absolutely next-gen consoles are overrated. Now, look at it this way, folks. With Generation 7, which is the previous generation, Xbox 360, PlayStation 3, Nintendo Wii, and the latter, etc., etc., Look, folks, has there been anything on the next-gen systems that has really been warranted or worth the purchase of a new console? I really don't think so. At the end of it all, I really feel that consoles today, while they do have a place and a purpose in the video game marketplace, I still feel that we could have waited three, four, maybe even five years before they even needed to come out. That way, we would have had better games, they would have understood the... What is it called? What is it? Um, the hardware and the software they were working with a lot better. And then we probably wouldn't have the same amount of debacles like Rise or we wouldn't have the same problems with Watch Dogs or I'm not, you know, and all of this, I just really feel that they are very overrated and there could have been, I just feel it could have been a lot better and a lot more time better utilized if they waited to put them out. And then when they did come out, they had more stuff for it. Because for a long time, a lot of the so-called next generation, open air quotes, games that we had, they weren't even next gen. Only now, recently, uh, especially in the last year or so, have we really had games that have came out that have been truly unique for the next gen. That's true. Very true. I think, I also think they could have waited just a little bit, you know, just to get some games actually finished and made. So when they launched the systems, they would actually have some good titles to play because when they when playstation 4 came out i think they had what um rise which i heard was all right <laughs> and a game called knack so like two games two like triple a games whatever and then xbox one i'm not even sure what came out on that when it first launched nothing fun nothing fun and that's nothing I, fun. let me just put this out there a disclaimer i don't own a next generation console so take everything what i'm what i'm gonna say with like a grain of salt because you know i haven't played them i don't own them so i can't say you know it's it's not a sure thing what I'm about to say. Okay, just keep that in mind. Right? Okay, right. I, I'm keeping it in mind. It, it it's key. It's keyed in mind. It's written on my notepad. It's it's etched and burned and branded in, onto my forehead. So when I look in the mirror, I I know I know that now. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Well, now I just forgot what I was gonna say. Cause I ah oh, darn it, rum, rum. What? I just what? I just forgot what I was gonna say, rum. It's not my fault. You get all pitter pattery and fluffy in the I'm brain. I'm blaming you with I, your I with your fantastical. Right words going up in here all right no no right, no no. okay you. so like i said um i think they could have waited because you, you saw it happen with wii u right first console mm -hmm. to come out next gen air quotes next gen console to come out and they didn't really have any games for it you know nothing not even any really mario games until like a year later i think and now yeah, it's, that came out later. yeah it's just like now beginning to pick up steam because now they're coming out with their 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 um you know mario games or zelda games what have you, on the Wii, right? Absolutely. So I think a big problem with the Xbox One and PlayStation 4 was they were trying to come out first. You know what I'm saying? Like, they wanted to be the first sure. one out, and PlayStation 4 came out first, I believe, and, like, Xbox One, like, right after it. I think that's how it went down. Is that how it went down? Off the top of my head, I don't remember. I could I could do, I could cheat my way and do a, a Google Foo search, but I'm not going to do that. I know they were I'm launched like knowledge. very close to each other, like within the same month or so, maybe a two month difference, something like that. But it's like, okay. it's like, I think Xbox One kind of rushed it out the door because they didn't want to, you know, be late to the game. 
because that's kind of what happened with the 360 and the PlayStation 3. You know, Xbox 360 came out first, PlayStation 3 waited, and they kind of just lost all their all their AAA games to the Xbox 360 because that was out first. I think that's how it went down. I, I have a bad memory, but I think that's what happened. So they didn't they didn't want to have the same thing happen basically. So they came out relatively, you know, along the same lines. So I think they just kind of rushed it out too quick. You know what I mean? I don't know. I- Oh, no, I absolutely understand that. I just feel with, with how Next Generation has been treated, it seems like it's, it seems like publishers are just very, very accustomed to giving us less and less and less completed material. And with Next Gen and the digital distribution, and on top of the fact that Xbox One originally tried to be your all-in-one entertainment system, where you could watch TV and go online and do all that shit with your friends, and that's all well and good. It's just the fact that I have a TV and I have a computer that can do that far better than any game console is going to be able to, at least in the current time we have now. Now, if 50 years from now we have we have some type of console that can do, is that all-in-one entertainment box? That's fine. That We don't know. We'll see in the future. But as currently now, I just don't believe that they're warranted to come out as soon as they did. I mean, look at the response of how a lot of people feel with next-gen consoles. You know, there are the ones that love it, of course, there's going to be that audience. But a lot of other people really feel disappointed with it, especially especially due to the lies and constant nonsense of always online DRM and just more and more I feel that our ga- our games, especially with next-gen, is they're starting to pull away from what made games fun in the first place. That's true. That's true. And I think they could have just came out, you know, when they were ready to come out. Because as of right now, I do think they are a bit overrated. Like, ju- just judging by, like, the titles that are available for each system, each console. Like, right now, I would say they're overrated. That's why I don't own any of them. Because oh, I and d- you're smart I, not to yeah. own one. I mean, I'm not going to buy a system and then just put it on my shelf and wait for a good game to come out. That doesn't make sense to me. It makes sense to, you know, get the system when there's games I actually want to play for it. Because that's what a lot of people did. They They bought it, you know, launch day, and there was just nothing to play for it. So it's sitting on their shelf. And just gathering dust, pretty much, until something good comes out. So I would rather just wait, you know, have them fix some bugs, update the software, you know, not have any red ring of death problems like when the 360 launched. You know, oh, let, God. let the beta testers be the guys who just bought it on launch date is pretty much what I'm thinking, you know. Oh, sure. I have no problem with waiting. I'm happy with my 360, my PlayStation 3. It's all good. So as of right now, I think, I do think they're overrated a bit. But with that being said, you know, I think it's good hardware. I think... They they have a good platform to like come out with games. They just need to make the games. That's the problem. They they don't have any games out right now. You know, they do have some games out, but if we look at it, what's really out there right now? It's a lot of remastered editions. It's a lot of the same yearly Call of Duty that everybody buys because they might play with their friends one day. I mean, that's really what it is. They what GTA Five? I mean, come on, man. There's got to be. We're at the time in gaming right now where we should be like not us per se but developers and publishers should be coming out with some of the most exciting most dynamic titles we could think of i mean the gaming industry has has had so much technology at their fingertips to create and create so much amazing things but now what are we reduced to the more and more stuff we seem to get the less and less creativity that's put into it and i think maybe that's gaming companies are probably a little gun shy because look at how the gaming community shits on a lot of things, even when it's so-called, you know, new. I mean, look at Watch Dogs. It's Grand Theft Auto 4 with very bad hacking that Sleeping Dogs did better. I'm just saying, folks. Just saying. It's obvious to me. If it's, obvi- if it's this obvious to me, I really feel it's, just, it's, uh, it's obvious to everybody else listening and other, people's who, who, other people who may not have even heard this show before. I think a big problem is developers are just overhyping their their content, you know? It's like Sleeping Dogs is supposed to be this end-all, be-all, next-generation platformer. Watch that, Dogs. Yeah, Watch Dogs. Just, <laughs> just basically any any game. Like, uh, what's that, that one game with the robots where you free run? Titanfall. 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 That was hyped up. Commercials everywhere for that game, right? Oh, yeah. It comes out. There's, like, no content. I mean, a couple maps. But there's like no story, no nothing. Once you once you like go through all the classes and stuff, it's like that's it. You know, they got the oh. burn cards, so on and so forth. But it's like no very there's not a lot of replayability to that game. I mean, I still love the game. It's a good game. It's just, you know, I'm not gonna play it for ten hours at a time. You know what I'm saying? No, absolutely absolutely not. Titanfall to me was very abysmal. Like I, I, I looked at it very heavily in the beginning and said and I said to myself, I was like, All right, there's there's like a twenty percent chance this game is really gonna be good. Cause we have to look at 
who was developing it. It was Activision, and you know they're most noted, excuse me, for the Call of Duty franchise. So of course, when they go into a shooter, futuristic or not, it's gonna it's gonna lead to that multiplayer aspect because nowadays, militaristic first person shooters that's really the 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 craze and the rage now. And nowadays, people tend to buy what is you know recognizable to them. What is I guess, uh, the age old, what they know. And that's Call of Duty. A lot of people buy it for that reason. But I think that stifles the creativity of what the gaming industry can bring out. And the games that do come out that are revolutionary in their own certain way or just interesting or fun, it, it, they seem to get shit on. And I find that very odd, very awkward in, in a lot of ways too. They're just kind of overshadowed by the big Call of Duty, you know. They really are. Overshadowed by the uh, overshadowed by the great flag bearer of Call of Duty, which is, God, just it's abysmal at this point. I do like that developers are kind of getting more into the indie market, like Xbox One and PlayStation Four. They have a lot of indie games, a lot of good indie games on there. So they might not have the you know triple A titles out right now, but you can go on the eShop and stuff, and you can find some good indie games. So I like that. So in that way, I like I like that about next gen, and that's not something you can really say about 360 and PS3. At least 360, because you know basically everything on like the indie section is shovelware. It's just, it's just poop on a stick, rum. It's poop on a freaking stick. There is nothing <laughs> good on there. There's like maybe maybe four good games out of the like 500, like a thousand. I don't know how many indie games are on there, but it's it's bad. I like I own every good one basically, but everything else it's garbage. It's just garbage. So I like the fact that they are trying to you know reach out to more indie developers, and I think. That we're, we're kind of saying, you know, next gen's overrated is what I'm kind of getting from you. You know, it, it really is. Yeah, it but really is. The thing is, I mean, I don't think there's anything wrong with the systems per se. It's just the games, and you can't really blame Microsoft and you know Sony for the games because they they have developers. You know, the, we have to blame the developers basically because they're overhyping the games. We shouldn't be blaming you know Sony and Microsoft because that's yes, they pay those people to get it on their platform and stuff, but it's not necessarily Xbox's and, you know, Sony's fault that the games are not up to par. You know what I'm saying? Sure, and I can I, I can understand it, it when you come at, come at it from the actual uh, producing of the video game content, of, of the actual games that we play. Now, when it comes to the, the software and hardware of Xbox and PlayStation, I, I am not impressed. I... I really feel they could have waited, and I'll, I'll end my statement with this. I just really feel they could have waited three to five years, and I think it, they would have been w better received than what they are currently today. I agree. I mean, the software is by no means bad. I mean, there are, I mean, computer, if you compare it to PC, yes, it's it doesn't stand up. But PC is, you know, if you put in a graphics card, upgrade the RAM, you can, you know, play whatever. But... It's it's more powerful than 360, and I thought 360, you know, was the bee's knees, man. I love 360. PS3, you know, it's it's more powerful than those systems, so it it, it can handle stuff, and the graphics look good. They're not like mind blowing, but I think they're solid platforms. Yes, they could be better. Yes, there have been glitches and stuff that they're still working on, but at the end of the day, I mean, it comes down to the games. That's why somebody buys a console is because of the games, or just any platform is because of the games. Do you agree? I I can I can agree a. I would say an average video game enthusiast, they will buy what they buy because they want, of course, for the games. You know, then there's obviously, they, they, we got the fanboy argument of some people just are, oh, Xbox, and some people are like, oh, Sony, yay, and or, or there's even the Nintendo people go, yay, we, yay. You know, everybody's everybody's got their own got their own niche and their own comfort of what they what they feel is the best suited for them. So when it really comes down to it, yeah, next gen's overrated, but if you're gonna go for it. Now is the time in gaming where you've had a lot, we have a lot more options. So, I mean, and one of those also I've realized is most people who went with next gen consoles, if they bought an Xbox One, it was because they had an Xbox Gold subscription from the Xbox 360. So why would they go to the other, other, other side and get the uh, PlayStation Plus subscription to get all the free games and all the other shit? Why are they going to the Nintendo Wii U? It's all personal preference at this point in time. Yeah, that kind of makes sense. I mean, if you own an Xbox and if you own a PlayStation, you got to have two separate subscriptions. So that's like a hundred dollars a year you're spending just on the you know online portion of the systems. That's like a hundred bucks every year if you own two of the platforms. It's a lot of fucking money. I mean, I'm I'm currently I currently have the X the Xbox Live. I have uh, PlayStation Network. I have Steam. I have good old games. I have all these things that I got to pay for, and it does add up. So 
at a certain point in time, you have to make an educated decision on what you're really going to play and what's going to have the most longevity for you. And that's that's another reason. It's the online subscriptions. Because, like, right now, there's not really a lot of games for either platform that are, like, mind-blowing AAA titles, you know? So it's like you're still paying that subscription fee, but you're waiting for the games to come out. So it's basically collecting dust on your shelf, and you're still paying for it every, yeah. you know, every year, every month, however you do it. Oh, so, yeah. I mean, how many times How many times am I going to renew my subscription on Xbox Live to watch fucking Netflix waiting for a decent fucking title to come out? It's ridiculous. Well, you can get Netflix now for free on, you know, Xbox with Xbox Live Silver or whatever. You don't have to pay for it anymore. It's like all the apps you can use for free. But, you know, I mean, and there's some people that don't even play online, but you still got to update the game. You still have to pretty much have an internet connection, whichever way you slice it. You know what, I mean? you know what I'm saying? Oh, oh, it's very true. And that brings us to a whole different type of discussion that we're not going to get into that's, in this that's episode. That's a whole different topic. That's a whole different episode, my man. But I think we can we can agree that as of right now, they are overrated. They will get better. More games will come out for them. You know, at the end of the 360 life cycle, they had some great games. When, when the 360 started, they didn't have, you know, the greatest stuff. The graphics weren't that much better than the previous generation, you know, mm-hmm. you know, Xbox original. But they got better as time went on. So I think developers are just kind of feeling the platforms out, getting their groove with it, you know, getting in that groove. Not and then enough. I think once they get the hang of it, better games will come out. Because games take time, you know, two, three years on a good game, not just like oh, popping sure. out of Call of Duty. I mean, and Call of Duty, they're even taking more time, you know, three years now in between Call of Duties. I mean, one comes out every year, but they got different developers working on it. So in reality, it's like they're spending like three years on each game. But you know what I mean? No, I, I understand. I understand the gist of what you're saying. I just, uh, uh, I, I hope, I hope it gets better because if it doesn't, oh man, it's gonna look abysmal. It's, it's gonna, gonna look get really better. It's gonna get better. Wrong. It's gonna oh, get better. Oh, oh, you... gotta have faith, my man. Have faith. Have faith. All right. All right. All gotta right. rub Check. that magic. That magic lamp. Uh, wish you got three wishes. You gotta. You gotta wish for it, man. You gotta. You got. Don't waste it on like money. Don't waste <laughs> it on. Yeah. Don't waste it on money. Just waste it on. You know. Just. 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 Just pray to the gaming gods that they're gonna start coming out with some good games. Oh, I do pray to the gaming gods that they were gonna give us good games. And then they gave me Titanfall. And then hey, they gave it, me Watch Dogs. And then they that gave bad. me Call of Duty Ghosts. Then they gave me Advanced Warfare. Then they gave me. You're gonna uh, the make me cry, bro. You're remake. gonna make me cry. Don't don't go into that. You're, you're gonna make me. <laughs> okay. Tears are rolling okay. down my cheeks right now. <laughs> okay, I'll save it. I'll All right. save it. So I think we're, that's gonna wrap up this video. But guys, what do you think? Are next generation consoles overrated? Post a comment down below. Let us know. And we might talk about it in the next video. We might not talk about it. We might have a different topic. We might. We're gonna have a different a different uh, guest on the show because rum. He's a busy guy. I don't want to spend five bucks making him come on the show anymore. You're, <laughs> no, you're, one dollar. You're me one dollar. One ninety nine. No, I was just messing, guys. I didn't. I didn't have to pay him. He paid me. No, I'm, I'm messing with you. I gave him no, a slice no, of pizza. No, 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 no. no. Yeah, that was it. Slice, slice of pizza. pizza. Yep. He 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 uh he, he emailed me a slice of some good old fashioned Chicago pie. So I had to come on. I gave him an emoticon on Facebook of a, of yes. a little cat thing eating a pizza. That was good well, enough yeah. for him. Well, you have done that. You have done that before in the past. I've done that multiple times. Yeah, emoticons, man. Don't get me into that. (laughs) That will be the next episode. Emoticons. No, I'm just messing. But our next gen consoles overrated. Post it in the comments below. I'm out of here. Do it. Do it. Do it. And if you want to check out Rum's channel, the link is in the description. If you want to check out my channel, the link is in the description. And if you want to join a network, a YouTube network, check out Blackout Media. You can find it at blackoutmedia.net, or you can just click the link down below. My name is Adam. Thank you, Rum, for joining me. Of course. And we're going to go. Toodles!